Good morning, guys. So I'm just got into my office, and I went to open my curtain, and look what I saw. Let's hope it's still there. She's gone. Ah, oh, you guys. I opened the curtain, and there was literally just a cat staring at me on the steps, looking guilty as hell. I want a cat. I want a pet. I think I'm going to get one next year. Where are you? Where'd you go? Where are you? Huh. It was not one of the normal neighborhood cats. It was a cat I've never seen. Where'd he go? I don't like how hairy they are. I love that I can... I'm the only one in my family where you can go to their apartment or house and throw a coat on the couch and not have to lint roll it when you get home. And I like that. It's a very nice feeling. There it is. <gasps> see it. I see you. So remember when I showed you guys myself making a juice and it takes like forever? Here's the way that it doesn't take forever. Now depending on how much stuff I have, I'll put this in a pitcher, but I'm making a small juice today. So I have cucumbers, celery, lettuce, whatever, the normal stuff I juice. I cut it up really small and then you just blend it. Well that was pretty anticlimactic. I think I need to add a little bit of water. Hold on. Okay, so most important step, cheesecloth. You take this, pour it in here, and then you strain it through the cheesecloth. Let me see if I can show you. Oh, hey guys, so I am just chilling, drinking my juice, eating my toast. I have a kind of busy day today and then I have to leave the house, which is, you know, not typical for me. Um, I have to drop some stuff off at the post office. I need to pick up some like wrapping supplies at, and some holiday cards at the store. It's literally called half off cards. And then I have to go to the mall and I have a, an appointment to get my Mac fixed. I My work computer, just like the button is stuck, but it's like, Ugh. Is that the worst? I hate going to the mall and I have to go to the Genius Bar. It's so awful. By the way, you guys, I just realized and remembered that yesterday I uploaded my 100th YouTube video. Pretty cool. Been doing YouTube for about a year and a half. I hit 100 vids. Now let's get that subscriber count up. Come on, come on going. Um, yeah, 100 vids, so I guess this is my 101st vid. I want to do some type of reflection vid or like a... Editing, I don't know. I feel like I need to look back on some of the old stuff and kind of put something together. Maybe make like a one of those trailers for the channel. I don't know. Anyway, 100 vids. Holla, holla, holla. All right, I'm here in my favorite plaza, the Hanford's Plaza, and I'm dropping off my mail. I have to make some returns. So the guy at the post office is really nice, but he definitely has like a mild... Asperger thing or something and it's like just the awkward small talk when you go in it's almost unbearable But I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go to half off cards, and then I gotta run to the mall. Here we go I told you it was called half off cards Hmm, the Asperger guy wasn't there. I've grown accustomed to him Oh well on to the next all right that was pretty quick so I went to the card store to buy Christmas cards like bulk and some more wrapping stuff and I left with like two packs of tissue paper and one little bag. There's no fucking way that I'm gonna spend f five dollars on a fucking big ass bag for wrapping shit. There's no way. I would rather not wrap it. That's fucking crazy. Like, what do people do spend another hundred dollars wrapping their gifts? No fucking way. So I'm fired up. And then I, I mean, it's not a big deal. I'm just gonna wrap it the way I want. But, um, then I, it was so crowded in there and everyone was like hovering over the Christmas cards so I was like, you know what, I don't know why I didn't think to do this anyway, but I'm just going to order Christmas cards on Amazon when I get home. 
boom, 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 pow, done. So whatever, I got the two things. I dropped off these things I needed to return, so I feel good. Have I ever mentioned that I can hate them all? And it's pretty crowded right now. Well, compared to what it usually is, which is absolutely nobody here. <sighs> the mall just gives me like flashbacks of living in North Adams, and not in a good way. Um, so I'm making it to this appointment with not much time to spare, and I'm just so scared that the geniuses are gonna yell at me. I don't even know where it is. Oh my god, I hope they don't cancel my appointment. I don't wanna come back here. It looks really busy, guys. I feel like Forever 21 has really gone downhill. Anybody else? I'm ready to get out of the Apple cult, I think. I think I'm done. I mean, I'll keep the iPhone, but I'm done. Mostly because all the other phones are way too big. It's like carrying on a fucking computer. But I, like, everyone was nice. Like, I got good service and stuff, even though I made an appointment for 305. So if you make an appointment, then why do you wait? I don't understand. I made an appointment, so why am I fucking sitting here? So then somebody came over and was like, hey, Angela? And I'm like, yeah, that's me. And uh, he uh, told them that I had a stuck trackpad, whatever, my sticky trackpad because it jerked off on my computer too many times. And uh, the guy like looked like Zach Galifianakis and that he, well, I had seen a guy earlier who looked like Zach Galifianakis working at the store. Big guy, burly beard, whatever. And the face, too. And this guy, and I'm like, oh, the guy came over and he had a beard, big guy, face, beard, whatever. He had a face. And I'm like, oh, it's Zach Galifianakis. So then the guy, like, takes my computer in the back to, like, fix it and look at it. And then the original Zach Galifianakis, like, five minutes later, because I'm fucking sitting there, he comes up and he's like, are you being helped? And I'm like, yeah, you took my computer. And he's like, oh, that was the other guy, bigger beard. And I'm like, oh, shit. And then I was thinking maybe that was like insulting to the guy because the other guy was bigger and less attractive <clears throat> And uh, I wonder if he's like damn she thinks I look like so-and-so but it's like <clears throat> You know, whatever Anyway, then he came out and was like oh you're I There was some substance a sticky substance and I cleaned most of it But I couldn't get all of it and then I look at it. He didn't fucking do shit like it was just as bad And I'm like okay, so I guess you're not gonna fucking fix it and then he's like, you know, I could do a full trackpad repair, but it's not under warranty. And I'm like, well, wait, I'm not fucking paying for this. This is my work computer. Do whatever you need to do. Why are we still sitting around? Stop being so polite. I know you need to have this facade, this Apple care guy facade, but we can riff. We can riff. Just level with me. Just fix it. Just fix it. So then he's going to fix it, but he doesn't have the part. So he's like, you got to order the part. I'm like, well, how long is this all going to take? I was prepared to drop my computer off for a few days because I have another laptop at home and he's like well if you want I can order the part and then it's gonna take like three to five days but he has to order the part well I can order the part and then you can just come pick it up drop your computer off and then come pick it up again and I'm like yeah let's do that and then realizing halfway through the process of him setting up the appointment that there's no fucking way I want to drive back to the mall two more times so I'm like, wait, no, I'm just going to leave it here and I'll pick it up when it's done. And I am I think it'll be done pretty soon. I think it'll probably be done. I mean, I don't need it. I have a laptop, so I can just get it whenever. Um, so that's the story. Anyway, here I am. There's all these cars whizzing by. I need to get the fuck out of here. Manchester's going to be a shit show soon. Okay, I got to go. Bye. All right. The fun's not done yet because we're going to Market Basket, baby. Right in the heart of it all, the heart of Manchester. Let's do this. Say, come on, girl. Come on, girl. <laughs> we almost got hit by an emergency truck on their way to go get someone from a medical emergency. Is that irony or just bad luck? This bread is the shit. Dan's making a critical decision. What bread to buy? What are we thinking? I don't know, where's the Wonder Bread? There's the wonder bread. Look at him go. So I just realized that today's our hundred and one, this is our hundred and first video, and our hundredth video was us shopping, vlogging, going, this fucking hair, going to Market Basket. So it's like a total turn, full circle anniversary. It's so awesome.
All right, we're home and we're gonna put these groceries away and chill out, eat some food. I'm gonna edit this vid, so I'm gonna call it a night. Thank you for watching this jam-packed episode eight, day eight of Vlogmas, and I'll see you tomorrow, goodbye. First I gotta dab. All right, now we're ready.